hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i will demonstrate how to create a draped floral art design at the front of a dress bodice hi my name is ayo and welcome to 011 clothing tutorials on this channel i upload diy's pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I'll I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you. I'll be working with the following items. Pins, ruler and pattern master, and also my French curve, tape measure, paper scissors, fabric scissors, Ideally, a pencil should be used to draft a pattern, but for tutorial purpose, I'll be using this green marker pen. My basic bodice pattern. These two black and gray fabrics. So I have here my front and back basic bodies pattern which I drafted using the boss that technique. The tutorial for this will be above and in the description box below. This is the back pattern and this is the front pattern. For the front pattern, I will make use of the full front pattern. And this is the full front basic bodies pattern. I will fold it into two like this and the first thing i'll do is to increase the neck depth by one inch and the net the neck width by one inch also i will now redraw the front neckline curve like this then i will cut it out I will now go ahead to close the waist dart and the boss dart using my cello tape. I will now go ahead and draw the shape of the art that I want in front of the dress. I have already drawn the outline with my pencil. What I'm doing now is just making it bolder with my marker pen. So this is what the art shape looks like. The size and position of the art at the front of the dress is entirely dependent on you. But I will give you a guide by telling you some of the figures that I use for mine. From the middle of the neckline, I came down by 5 inches. From the arm hole on this side, I came in by 2.5 inches. From the second arm hole, I also came in by 2.5 inches. This is the middle of the pattern. And the art extends by about 2.5 inches away from the middle of the front bodies at the aim. Also, the art ends 2 inches above the aim of the front bodies. The shape of the art that I drew, T, 
tilt a little bit towards the left of the towards the left of the front bodies on the left side the distance from the shoulder to the art shape is five inches while on the right it is six inches so the distance here on the left is five inches the right the distance from the shoulder to the art shape is six inches before cutting out the art shape i will draw some balance marks on the art shape that will make the sewing process easier i will later notch these balance marks on my fabric when cutting out the pattern I will now go ahead and cut out the art shape design. So this is what it looks like after cutting it out. What I'm doing now it's just labeling the left and the right side on both the art design and the main bodies so as to avoid misalignment when sewing the art in place. The line that I'm drawing now is the actual center of the front pattern. And I will make sure that the line match up when sewing the arts to the main bodies. I will also notch this on my fabric. I will now move over to the back pattern. What I will do is to increase both the neck depth and the neck width by one inch. I will also add one inch zip allowance to the center back of the pattern. I will now go ahead and cut out the back patterns. I will also close the waist that just like I did for the front. I will be making use of this exaggerated cow sleeve pattern for the dress. The tutorial for the sleeve will be above and in the description box below. So I have here the front pattern pieces which I have already pinned on this black crepe fabric. I use half an inch seam allowance all through except for the side seams where I use 1.5 inches side seam allowance. I will now go ahead and cut it out. I will now go ahead and transfer the balance marks on the pattern to my fabric by notching the fabric like this. After doing this, I will go ahead and cut out the remaining pattern pieces on my fabric. I will do this off camera.
So now I've done that. This is the exaggerated cow sleeve pattern. I cut two pieces of this on bias and I use half an inch seam allowance all through. This is the back pattern. I cut two pieces on the main fabric and two pieces on the lining fabric. I use half an inch seam allowance all through. Except for the side seams where I use 1.5 inches side seam allowance. I also interface the necklines of both the main fabric and the lining fabric. These two pieces are the front pieces and I use the half scale front pattern to cut out the lining fabric on fold. So this is the art shape design which I've already placed on this grey contrast fabric. On the wrong side of the of the art design, I will label the left and the right side so as to avoid mix up while sewing. While sewing. This is the wrong side of the contrast fabric. So the art shape and the contrast fabric are right sides together. I will fold the art shape like this so as to get the middle points. I will mark the middle point like this. I will now go ahead to draw a tiny circle at the center and I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch all around the circle. So now the stitching has been done. Using my scissors, I will go ahead and cut out all around the circle carefully so as not to cut through the stitching. After doing this, I will go ahead and turn the art shape to the other side of the contrast fabric, like this, via the hole that I just made. So now that has been done, as you can see, the two fabric pieces are now wrong sides together. I will flip over the fabric like this. So that the art shape is now beneath the contrast fabric. I will secure it firmly to the table with this paper tape. I will now put a finger in between the hole and I will twirl the contrast fabric around like this so that I can create the desired drape that I want for the art design at the front of the dress. Once I'm satisfied with the drapes, I will paint the drapes in place so as to secure them to the art shape underneath the contrast fabric.
I will now remove the paper tape and I will flip the fabric to the other side. So I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch all around the art design. I will use about 1 eighth of an inch seam allowance for this. So now that has been done, the stitching has been done, I will now go ahead to cut out the art shape with the drape. So this is the front, this is the main bodies for the front. As you can see, I have fixed into facing to the neckline and all around the edges where the art shape was cut out so as to stabilize it. You can also fix interfacing all around the edges of the art design so as to stabilize it also and make sewing easier. I have already written on the wrong side of the fabric which side is the left or right on both the arts on both the art design and the main bodies. So I will go ahead and pin the draped arts to the main bodies right sides together, making sure that the notches align with each other and also the left and the right sides of both the draped arts and the main fabric and the main bodies also align with each other. After painting, after painting the ads in place, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch using half an inch sewing allowance. So I will go ahead to stitch the ad design in place making sure that all the balance marks that I nudged on the fabric align with each other. So the stitching has been done as you can see. I will now go ahead and reduce the bulk of the seam allowance from half an inch to about one quarter of an inch. So this opening here, I will go ahead and stitch it together using half an inch sewing allowance.
So now that has been done. This is the front lining. I've interfaced the neckline. I will go ahead and stitch the waist and the bust darts in place. So now the darts have been stitched in place. So I'll go ahead to place the lining on top of the main front piece like this, right sides to right side. I will paint the necklines together and then I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the back pieces as well. So now that has been done, I've sewn the necklines together. I'm sewing the necklines together. I knock the seam allowances. Then I understick the, the seam allowance to the neckline of the lining. I did the same thing for the back pieces as well. So it is now time to join the front and the back pieces together at the shoulder. So I will open up the shoulder. I open up the shoulders like this. And I will make sure that the seam line match up. Then I will paint the front and the back shoulders in place. After which I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now that has been done, the front and back shoulders have been stitched together. So now I have gone ahead to cut out these A-line skirts which will be used for the lower part. I will go ahead to fix it to the waistline of the main bodies. I will also fix this zip to the center back of the dress. So now that has been done, I've joined the skirt pieces to the bodies of the dress. And I've also fixed the zip to the center back of the dress. It is now time to join the side seams together. So I go ahead to sew the side seams of this dress together using 1.5 inches side seam allowance which was the seam allowance that we left that we use while cutting out the fabric. But first I will pin in place. I will be sewing fabric to fabric and lining to lining. So now that has been done, I've joined the side seams together as you can see.
This is the exaggerated cow sleeve. Cow sleeve. I have aimed the lower part of the sleeve, as you can see. I will fold the facing, which is at the upper part of the sleeve, like this. Then I will go ahead and pin it in place to the armhole of the dress. Right side to right side. After doing this, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So this is the final look of the dress after fixing the sleeves and aiming the lower part of the dress. So that's it guys, we are done. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to like, share, drop a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.